Hi, everybody. Before I get started, I want to say thank you to Jessica from Measure and Mix and Heidi for hosting this challenge. I've been subscribed to Jessica for a while now, and through this challenge, I just subscribed to Heidi the other day. This was a real challenge, too. It wasn't something that was easy. I thought it was going to be, but it wasn't. I bought maybe five different things and never really got anywhere with them because it was very difficult. So I have some raffia, some ribbons, clearance ribbons, scissors, of course, trusty glue gun. This is some wired twine I found at Dollar Tree. I've never seen this before, but it's got a pretty sturdy wire on the inside. And I picked up some of these grapevine balls big storm we had, the hurricane that came through, knocked over one of my pine trees. I collected some pine cones that are everywhere, and that's a piece of uh, jasmine from my backyard. I just stripped the leaves off. And I have a wide assortment of silk flowers. All of these are from Dollar Tree and maybe Walmart, but I'm thinking most of them are actually from Dollar Tree. And here's my thrift store find. I have a traumatic relationship with these because they were very strong. These are the cinnamon scented brums, super strong. And my mom got one one time and hung it on the door to our laundry room. And every time I was in the kitchen or anywhere around it, I got a pounding headache, but I didn't want to say anything because she really loved it. But this one is pretty old and it has no smell anymore. Thank God. So what I'm doing here is creating a floral arrangement on top of the broom so it can be hung on a door or inside and I'm starting from the bristle end here and working my way up only because I know I want to have it wrap at least three times the majority of the arrangement is going to be on the left side of the bottom of the broom where the bristles are so I'm starting at the top on the right side and spiraling down but not wrapping you'll see that I don't really do it very tightly and I'm using a pipe cleaner here just to get that on there. I'll use pipe cleaners periodically throughout this, sometimes with glue, sometimes without, especially in places where I want the, the wire and the ribbon to be twisted. The same leaving a little bit of slack so it's not wrapped tightly. I'm going to put another pipe cleaner here to cinch up that ribbon. I had a lot of fun doing this. Didn't have as much fun editing it, but it was fun to do it. And there was nothing I could find. I went to Goodwill for about a week. Every couple of days I went to another thrift store. My Goodwill is terrible. They sell stuff there from the Dollar Tree that's used, and it's $2 at the Goodwill. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. So I had a hard time finding something. There I was just showing you how well this bends. Very cool. I have a Dollar Tree I go to all the time, and I went to one that I don't normally go to. And that's where I found this wired twine. So see, I've just got that kind of loosely around there. I don't want anything wrapped. I don't want it to look like a candy cane. And I'm just gluing that down right where I attach the ribbon. And now I'm taking a couple lengths of this twine. I think it's four. And I just pulled out a big length and then doubled it and then doubled it again. And now I'm cutting it into four separate strips. Glue that at the top. And I'm leaving some at the top undone the ribbon, the wire twine, and this this twine here. And I'm leaving some at the bottom too. Because I want it to have nice movement and a nice flow to it. And there I go with the glue gun again. I'm really enjoying this new Gorilla Glue glue gun. I keep saying glue gun, glue gun. 
And now I'm making a little tassel. It's kind of like a tassel. I just went around my hand a couple times and now I'm going to tie it off. I'm gonna cut the bottom off and kind of mess it up in my hands to fray the ends a little bit. That's just gonna get glued on the top. To add a little bit more texture, Now I'm twisting up the wire twine. I kind of twisted it into a pretty tight circle and then untwisted it some and then glued it down. And I didn't want to do too much at the top because I wanted the focus to be on the bristles of the broom. I don't know what that part's called. I don't know if any, is, is there even a name for that? The broom part of the broom, the sweeper. I'm so glad this thing does not smell like cinnamon. I would have been so upset. So now I'm putting another pipe cleaner on. I'm just going to tuck that in and it's going to make a kind of loop, kind of a bow, a suggestion of a bow. I really like these grapevine balls. I want to make a garland with them or something, getting closer to Christmas. They're just, they, they give like such great texture. And I had a pipe cleaner on the back of that one just to give the ball a little bit more grip. Instead of gluing the ball directly to the broom, you glue the ball and the pipe cleaner to the broom and that creates a little bit more um, surf, surface tension. And now we're going to get into some flowers here. I trimmed a lot of these down to just the flowers with no stems, but some of them still have stems on them. And up here, I'm just adding a couple of leaves. I don't want to add any big flowers up here because I want your eye to be drawn from the top down. And I, I felt like putting any big flowers at the top would just be too busy. So now there's all my hanging pieces. And I'm making another little tail with the leftover ribbon that I cut off. You can see right here, all these ribbons are dovetailed. That was a terrible idea. This frayed so bad. I tried to burn it. I cut that out of the video because I'll usually burn a synthetic ribbon to seal it off so it doesn't fray. But I don't know if this is cotton or I'd be very surprised if it were cotton, but it, uh, it didn't didn't uh, seal off it just kind of crisped up and I ended up cutting the ends on a angle and that was better and then I just curled up this twine wrapped it around stuck it in between the branches some this is the jasmine from outside that I'm just looping around and tucking in places And now we're finally getting to the best part, which is the flowers and the leaves and the berries and what they call miniature pomegranates, some pine cones that I collected. I'm just making a little bunch right here, trying to get something that looks right. This is going to be my first downward piece, so I'm trying to arrange it nicely in a pleasing visually sort of way. And now that it's together, I'm going to stick it in right there and see that I like it. And I like it, so I glue it. And then I get my whole head into the frame. And now I'm just really arranging flowers. I used to work at a florist for a while. And I learned a lot there about what my style is and it's very very loose just very kind of improvisational I'm not going to count anything out and say I need this many sunflowers I need this many miniature pomegranates but I do tend to work in threes or fives just so nothing's too even I think there's two sunflowers on here in the end and maybe two of those other 
I don't know what they're supposed to be like chrysanthemums. So I'm just adding, thinking of where I need things. And you don't need to have as many florals available as I do, but I had some that I bought this year, I had some from last year, I had some from an arrangement I took apart, so I had a lot to work with. And these are the pine cones that I'm just sporadically gluing in here. So they're kind of peeking out, but not really. I had a branch fall from my pine tree, and I usually only get really big pine cones, but these were immature when they fell, so they're nice and small. And now I'm just continuing that floral down the left side of the broom, making it a little bit longer, seeing where I need pieces. And it's nice when you get to the bottom there because I was just kind of poking stuff in and it was going in there really good. And we're going to add another grapevine ball. I did wire that in and then I put some glue underneath it before I tightened the wire. Those were very hard to get down. That was the only thing I really had trouble with. Now I'm adding some more leaves. So there you see the flow of it going from the top right to the bottom left. And I gotta apologize for how this video is filmed. I don't have much room to work with. There we go, sticking that in. I really like the way this came out. And I guess if you wanted to, you could add oil to it. I would not. Well, I would. I wouldn't add cinnamon oil to it because I am I have a very bad reaction to cinnamon every time I either eat it or smell it. And that's about it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you're new here, please consider liking, subscribing, commenting, turning on your notifications, sharing. Oh, all that good stuff. And thanks again to Heidi and Jessica. I hope you guys have a good day and thanks for watching.